Is it recording? Yes. Okay. This is Matt reporting from the festival, camp festival in Dorset. It's the summer of Dorset. Two, Dorset. It's the summer of 2011, and there's a group of uh, 16 of us, most of them children. But this is our video diary of festival. Okay, everyone shout after three. One, two, three. Festival. Festival. Once you've made 25 trips to the car and unloaded all your stuff and found the children you lost on the way to where you're pitching your tent, you can go and explore your new surroundings. And when I say explore your new surroundings, I mean find out where all the bars are. Then find out which kids' attractions are close to those bars. There's a clue in the name. Camp Festival is the best festival for families with children. As well as having Blondie, Primal Scream and Mark Ronson headlining the event, there are also a couple of little jewels that I hadn't discovered, like Ed Sheeran, who was brilliant, and the Cuban Brothers, who were also brilliant. Obviously, the first day, you have brought your own food. And once you've had a few beers, Everyone's generally a bit tired. You head back to the campsite, do a bit of cooking, have a few drinks. They look good, son. Oh, that burger looks wicked. So you want your burger, innit, like that? That's yours. Some members of your party might have been reluctant to come to a festival. And in our group, we have a reluctant participant in Tony, who's going to sum up the day's activities for us. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Roll on next year. <laughs> Whoop, whoop. <laughs> now, pan around. We'll see the rest of the refugee camp. <laughs> Stretching for miles. Stretching for miles. <laughs> Tony Bird, Dorset. Our media. <laughs> day two of any festival is usually the best day. Everyone's raring to go. Amber! How can you sleep on that stony, rough old floor? The novelty of spending 10 minutes cooking one slice of toast on a one ring stove hasn't worn off yet. You are. And waiting 35 minutes for the kettle to boil is also something to smile about. I'm gonna go and finish eating. Okay. Group selection for any festival is crucial. Never go to a festival with people who place hygiene above having a good time or people who don't enjoy drink. What's the Asian perspective on a, on a festival then? The Asian perspective is, this all looks a bit Asian. <laughs> and for best of all in particular, people who don't like children, as there's 15,000 of them here. What do you think, Ishan? There should be more boys. There should, the boys always lose out. Yeah. But even if there was boys, they'd still stand around <laughs> on their own moaning. I know, it's top morning, boys. Yeah. <laughs> The highlight for the younger kids in our group was the jousting, which I had no intention of watching, but did get drawn into. Even though we'd consumed a massive 2% of the food we brought with us, it was apparent no one else was gonna do any cooking. So we went down to the castle stage and checked out all the food, like this fantastic looking sausage. Then, returning to base to find the kids torturing marshmallows and settling down for Tony's evening report. I'm trying to, to show the camps. The refugee camp. We are currently residing. Luxurious it is not. We are sleeping on a, on a descent here at about 90 degrees. One cannot possibly sleep in, in it for no more than 25 minutes before one is found at the end of the tent. Only secured by the tent pen. <laughs> After that, you need to move back again <laughs> and repeat the process for the next seven hours. <laughs> After that, you are awoken by noisy people, people spitting and farting. <laughs> by day three, the morning has become a prolonged affair where everyone waits until they can wait no more for the inevitable trip to the festival toilets. Which is enough to send a large proportion of campers home. But there's still some good music. And my favorite, the medieval mountain bike show. 
Before heading to the main stage, don't forget the essentials. Where's your drink, Mo? Classy, that is classy. Where'd you find her? She's quality, isn't she? <laughs> so after a quick bag of wine, we were all ready for our final afternoon at Camp Festival. The sun was out, the tunes were good, and the kids were happy. And the party atmosphere was captured perfectly. I just had the greatest time. It's the first festival I've been to for about 20 years that I can actually remember. Thank you for joining me and my friends at Camp Festival 2011. We'd like to say thanks to Rob the Bank and the guys that organised the event and all the acts that we saw. And I'm looking forward to coming next year. I'd like to leave you with our good friend Tony, completely converted to festival life. This is day four. <laughs> My children have been separated from me. I'm petrified where they are. I've been held against my will. It's <laughs> not a hoax. Now please come and get me. Uh, I haven't eaten for two days. I haven't washed the three. <laughs> look, look at this. The red wine's appalling. <laughs> you need to come and get me. Please, this is not a hoax. Please come and get me. I'm petrified. <laughs> Spoil middle class kids! <laughs> <laughs>